Well, hey guys. Okay, this is part two of the message that I just gave. Um, all right, so we start off with 1 John 2.11. But he who hates his brother is in darkness and walks in darkness and does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. Mark 3.11 And the unclean spirits, whenever they saw him, fell down before him and cried out, saying, You are the Son of God. Philippians 2.6 Who, being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God. Psalm 37.8 Seize from anger and forsake wrath. Do not fret. It only causes harm. And guys, so this is part two. So some of those scriptures may go with part one, but I'm just continuing on because I ran out of time. Um, here's Psalm 36. No, I said that one right. Okay. Um, just, here's the message. Deception is here and my delusion on the world is coming. Have you seen my judgment announced all over the world? There's a lot more coming. My sheep, do you hear me calling you home? Make sure you are wearing your wedding garments. I love you. The trumpets are coming soon. They will sound. Harpazo, walk in the spirit to hear the truth. Heed the warnings. Prepare for war. It's coming. I am your God and I have spoken. Luke 21, 4, for all these out of their abundance have put in offerings for God, but she out of her poverty put in all the livelihood that she had. Ezekiel 46, 7, he shall prepare a grain offering of an ephah for a bull on an ephah for a ram as much as he wants to give for the lambs and a hen of foil with every ephah. <clears throat> Ezekiel 14, 7, for anyone of the house of Israel or of the strangers who dwell in Israel who separates himself from me and sets up his idols in his heart and puts before him what causes him to stumble into inequity, then comes to a prophet to inquire of him concerning me, I, the Lord, will answer him by myself. Ezekiel 19, 5, when she saw that she wasted that her hope was lost she took another of her cubs and made him a young lion first peter 1 11 searching what or what manner of time the spirit of christ who was in them was indicating when he testified beforehand the sufferings of christ and the glories that would follow revelation 2 5 remember therefore from where you have fallen repent and do the first works or else i will come to you quickly and remove your lampstand from its place unless you repent Revelation 6, 9, when he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. John 3, 9, Nicodemus answered and said to him, how can these things be? Philippians 2, 5, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Judges 6, 5, for they would come up with their livestock and their tents coming in as numerous as locusts. Both they and their camels were without number and they would enter the land to destroy it. 1 Peter 1 9, receiving the end of your faith, the salvation of your souls. So, guys, that was part two of everything. So, the scriptures go with both messages. Um, and it was very long, so I had to do two videos. Um, but, guys, I said in the last video, <clears throat> the February 15th thing, you know, he gave me that date for a reason. And he gave it to me three times. And then in the last video, if you can see part one, he talks about how, did you pass my test? Have you mocked your neighbor? All kinds of things. So guys, I don't know what God is doing. I think something will happen tomorrow. He said something about Obama rising. Um, and Obama came out with that exhibit today and um, joked about Obama's red wedding or something. So I feel like the rapture is super soon. He keeps saying it's super soon. Is it going to be tomorrow? I don't know. I don't know. You know, I got excited about the very first message that I did. I was like, I know the rapture date. You know, I was excited because he gave me two dates and God has never given me a date before. Um, but he told me it was coming on to be Shabbat. And that's when all the destruction happened with all of the earthquakes everywhere. And, you know, nine of his prophecies already have come true, guys. You know, he's told me where the, the earthquakes were going to be. And they've happened. He told me about the shift in the atmosphere, the halo around the moon, um, you know, the Gog and Magog war starting, and then they hit missiles in, in Iran, blamed it on Israel. He showed me who the players were, and lots of things, guys, and all these messages that started December 30th. So I can only speak as a messenger, guys. I'm new at all this, and I'm trying my best. And heed the warnings, guys, because I test everything. He gives me scriptures in my head after I finish every message and I walk away 
later and I ask again and he gives me more and then I go in front of my Bible and I pray and then I turn to a random page and he'll give me more confirmations. So I'm obedient and I have nothing to gain from this. I don't profit from anything. I'm literally just trying to speak his words and wake people up because I don't know how much more time we have. Um, that's all serious. So if you don't know Jesus, you know, ask him to come into your life. Ask him to lay down the sins for you, to forgive you for your sins, you know, confess them to him. And he will forgive you guys. He's a loving God, which is why he's doing all these warnings, you know. And he mentioned in the other message, you know, thousands of years ago, you know, the world wasn't about to end. So... <sighs> I don't know. I'm not going to speak for him and interpret another message because I feel like Satan used that one really, really hard against me. So um, I'm just going to say his messages from now on. Try not to talk as much. <laughs> but anyway, guys, please, it's serious. Wake up if you don't know Jesus and check out the description. I'll put the links in this one too for, um, for Steve Fletcher's videos on Obama. Something's going to happen with Obama soon. He said tomorrow, so I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, but he would not let me not post that. Literally, I tried. I tried. I tried. And he just went like this. He went like this. Because I did. I was like, okay, Obama's going to rise. And then and then he went like this. And I was like, I don't want to say it. I don't want to say February 15th. <laughs> just like I didn't want to say it for the rapture. But, you know, it is what it is, guys. You can love me or hate me. I don't, I'm just trying to get the messages out for Jesus. So if you're thinking that I'm for gain, you know, and you don't believe, just unfollow. I don't care about followers, guys. The world's passing by. So, yeah. Have a blessed day, my Holy Spirit lovable people. You guys have been amazing. Can I just tell you, you guys keep me going so much. It's so hard sometimes, you know, because Satan will put doubt in your head about things. And, you know, I'm giving up a lot. The whole world thinks I'm nuts. You know, I'm a realtor and it's not great for business, but you know, God continues to bless me on that. I was, um, I had my award show today and I won, um, three awards. It was awesome. Um, I won, um, I can't even think of what I won now. <laughs> it's been a long day. A regional for insurance, uh, giving the insurance. I won like master circle, which is like a certain amount of, it's like over 4 million in sales or something. Um, and then I won, um, Oh, uh, the best achievement award. So that's like, um, progressing, um, with your numbers, you know, over 50% in a year. So God's been good to me, guys. I pray and I ask God for everything. I love my Jesus so much and just ask him, ask him guys, he'll forgive you. He will seek him, ask him to pour his spirit out in you. You know, I ask him for everything and he's like my best friend. I love him and I claim that he came to earth and died for us, you know, in the flesh and died for us and rose three great, three days later from the grave. You know, anti-spirit doesn't claim that. I claim that. Have a blessed day.